In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a roller set on the wig that I previously steamed. So make sure you check that one out if you haven't already. But we're going to do a classic roller set to give just some beautiful waves to the wig. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Daniel Coy. So now, if you've seen the previous video, we steamed it completely straight. And now we are giving it a cute little roller set to give it a, uh, I, I guess like a, faux hawk mohawk ish look um so everything is completely straight like you can see all the turnarounds breakage cuttage whatever it may be um so you're definitely going to be using end papers and our rollers so i'm going to do a nice big pink roller in the front so the top two i'll put big pink oh maybe i'll take some pictures and i will put it in the description below so you can uh check out the roller set um so then I'm going to come on each side, and these are going to be slicked back. So I'm going to be using purple rollers to make it nice and smooth. It'll be good. It'll be great. I think I'm using 12 rollers totally, so it should be quick to the point. Nice and, uh, nice and easy. cute little trick is afterwards you can take the tail end of your comb and go over and get all those flyaways turnarounds all those little little hairs you want back into place you can just whip it back around or if you forget a piece you can just sneak it back in there And now we're just putting in the two sides. As you can see, I kind of missed this spot. So you'll see, um, I will go back and show you my little trick to get those ends back in there. Um, make sure you use your end papers. If you noticed, I'm not really putting it to the end to the end. I'm putting it to the shortest bits. So if you need like more than one end paper, totally cool. I would totally use it. Um, and now here's the back. So because it, see, here we go. And you take your end and you just wind it up in there. And it's all good to go. So when you're taking sections, I like to take huge sections across tracks so that you will never know where it's coming from and it will give a better uh, flow to the hair. Because remember, it is, it's going to act kind of like hair, but not really because we're forcing the curl in with the steam of steaming it. So I'm taking semi-large sections over direction. This is like totally over directed. And this is my other pink roller that I'm putting in. And get those oh, turnarounds, get them in. And it'll be great.
And now all of the rollers are in. Um, so now we're going to steam it. And I like to do 43 seconds per roller, but it's time lapsed, so it'll go a little quicker. Uh, so this is a Jiffy uh, roller head is what it's called if you go on the Jiffy site. Um, I can put a link in the description below. And it is made to go inside of the roller and to shoot steam inside to work your way out. Sometimes with like a clothing steamer, how you hold it on so much, and if it doesn't go all the way through, that sometimes it kind of, your ends don't get done. So this basically guarantees that your ends are really getting steamed, and then it works your way out. You just need to learn to work with it because you can um, over steam the hair, and it will crinkle, and it will basically uh, not be really good. So you'll have to then take out the roller, take your brush, brush it out and re-steam it straight again because it'll have like the, the, the burnt crinkliness to it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going through and I am steaming all of them. Uh, as you can see in that top pink roller, I have two pins in it. So it's holding all the hair to go into that one without it like flopping off the sides. And if you notice large sections, um, and I just, yeah, steam it, steam, steam. Make sure you do 43 seconds. I don't know why three, 43, 45, a minute, 55. Um, depending on how much hair is in the roller too, if it's like really long hair, then I would definitely do it longer, almost to a minute per roller. Um, and then after I do inside 45, I'll go out and I'll hit them for like about 10, maybe even 20 seconds per each roller so that it really like melts it around because this is basically this is the roller and this is the curl pattern that we're going to be making um, so make sure you stay tuned and sign up for my channel make sure you look click subscribe and the bell so you can be notified when the next roller set comes out i think the next one is going to be it brushed out and combed out which i think it's going to look pretty pretty uh so yeah so if you do have any questions find me on social media uh, i'm still i'm i'm telling you what to do and then I'm also letting you know that we are still steaming um so this is basically steaming it for itself but compared to what it looked like in the other video this kind of came out pretty nice I'm quite proud but once again she's an old wig obviously she's not made for this block but she's gonna look pretty I'm very excited so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I would love to hear from you and I think it's gonna be great Till next time. In this video, I'm going to be steaming a synthetic wig straight. It's been through the ringer, so you gotta bear with me, but you can revitalize any synthetic wig doing this method.